this was supposed to be the winter vi video, but as you can see by the sun, it's beautiful, beautiful winter weather. We have three full-time employees who work feeding calves and working on the calf team, if you will. Two of them are directly responsible for feeding calves. One, they work a uh, uh, week about coming out on the early shift, one week and the late shift the next week. The early being that they're here and it's time to start the pasteurizer at 6 o'clock in the morning. The, the guy on second shift doesn't come in until 7. Um, so the guy in the early shift then will feed in the morning and the, the, the second shift guy will feed the bottles and, and do the water, feed the grain. Um, and then the, the guy that comes in on second shift then starts the pasteurizer in the afternoon and does the afternoon feeding and the morning person then feeds the bottles. Uh, that way one person doesn't get stuck with the same job all the time and um, it's two sets of eyes as well because of course while you're feeding you need to be watching for signs of disease such as scours or depressed appetite, um, coughing, you know, snotty nose, all those sorts of things. And so just, just two sets of eyes on the calves each day. We have six rows of hutches, six rows of 34 hutches here. We feed, so the person on the early shift or whoever is responsible for feeding the milk will feed a row of calves. When they are finished feeding the last calf, then the second guy, we have a, the, the third uh, part member of the calf team, um, will come along and start feeding everybody water. They need to have sufficient time between their milk and their water to allow the milk to, to clot in their abomasum before you introduce any water to that because the water, of course, will prevent the clotting process and that's important for the digestion, the right digestion of the, of the pasteurized milk. So we find that if we, by the time they've fed 35 calves, the first calf has had enough time for that milk to begin to clot and then they can have their water. And we feed warm water all year round. We just find that in order for them to drink, the, the goal is for them to drink it. And we find that they'll drink warm water, even in the summertime, they'll drink more warm water than cold water and especially in the winter time when they need something warm to drink. So we always, always feed warm water to the calves, like I say, giving them time between their milk and the water to allow the milk to clot. As you can see, we try to keep things simple, that everything is together on the cart, kind of a one-stop shop, if you will. We have the, the milk bottles, which will be filled for the calves, which are still on bottles. We have the, uh, the extra, the nipples, and the floating nipples for those calves that eat at the Swiss, for example. They don't really like to pail train through all that readily, so we just give them a float going fight with them. Um, we, at the cart we have a, um, a really excellent milk delivery system here. There's an electric pump with a timer on it. It's so important to feed the calves consistently. The timer, the green button, it's set uh, to deliver uh, exactly seven pints of milk so that as they pull up to each hutch just pull the, the uh, hose over the pail, push the button and it delivers seven pints of milk right into the pail. We have a feeding wand which we attach to the the milk hose that comes from the plastic milk tank. It just screws right into this uh, valve right here. We take it off so that we can disinfect it after each feeding. Cleanliness is so very important. There we go. Just thread it on. And then as they pull up to each hutch, they can just reach out, put the wand into the pail, open the valve to feed the calf. After they're finished feeding, they just close the valve so it doesn't drip, go to the next calf and feed them. What we also do is we keep a pail of disinfected water on the uh, golf cart and the calves like to suck on it and get their slobby gerbs all over it. So we'll just take and swirl that in a pail of disinfectant water between calves so we don't transfer disease.